Hey besties, it's your girl Catherine. Welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. So today, this is a really fun, long-awaited video that you guys have been requesting, and it is everything that I got during say, my annual sale. Now, do not judge me, and I know you guys are like the least judgy people, but there are some people out there that would be like, whoa, do you really need all that stuff? Hi, my name is Catherine, and I go through a lot of body care, and I thought the sale, 75% off, was a really good deal. I did buy everything 75% off with my money, and then also with like, you know, birthday gifts. It was my birthday during semi annual sale, and then I graduated as well. So, we're going to be going through everything that I bought, <laughs> but I do want to show you guys, first off, I legit doubled my collection. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Promise? Here is everything that was my original collection. I do have some body lotions. Well, a lot of body lotions stored in my shower right now. But as you guys can see right here, the next one, this right here is everything I got during semi annual sale. So in order for this to be efficient and also to show you guys like the volume, I'm not trying to brag in either shape or form at all. This is just something that I really like. It's a really fun hobby, okay? I'm a good collector. I love a good stash here and there. For the format of this video, I'm going to show you guys all the products and then show you guys in kind of like a wide lens zoom of like it on my bed so you guys can see like how much inventory that I have added into my collection. To be honest, I'm actually not sure. So we're going to talk about some numbers too while we do that. So let's go ahead and get started. Ah, okay, I'm really excited. I know this video is going to be very long, so if I need to mention anything or reasons why I bought more than one product, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> this video is gonna be super long, so have a snack and drink some water. Let's go ahead. So starting with shower gels, I have the strawberry soda shower gel. This one just has fresh strawberries. The thing that's funny with this one is because it has like bubbly seltzer and crushed ice. Like, do you really have crushed ice in here? It smells really nice in the shower gel, and I'm not going to lie. This is like one of my favorite forms of strawberry soda. So different. And then I also got Cherry Limeade. This one was actually supposed to be for my boyfriend, but I think I'm going to split it with him because he takes actually a while to get through body washes. So I did get him a saltwater breeze, which I'm not going to mention in here, but I am mentioning it now just because that's for him and I don't really like saltwater breeze like that. So this is for the both of us. So if he ever wants to use it, he can. But this one is just like a nice Sonic Cherry Limeade as well as like a gummy worm. It smells really good. Really tart. Next up I have is Mango Mai Tai. I actually haven't even opened this one yet, you guys. Like that's how problematic I am right now. Don't cancel me, okay? <laughs> We're not opening up my products, but I've been trying to like find every product that I have and just open them, but... It's so hard, especially because I don't have any nails right now. This one just has like a really nice juicy mango juice type of scent. And yeah, it really does. This one smells so nice. Oh, that's so delicious. So I'm really looking forward to use this in the shower. Pink tie-dye. And this one, it has like a nice, a little like fruity, apple-y, little bit of floral, but not too floral. It's like a fresh apple-y scent. It smells really good. And I really like the pink color. And then I also got Dead of and Daisies. This one was so hard to find, you guys. Like this one was always like the $4.95 table or like 50% off. This was really hard to like get it for 75% off. But I managed to grab like one of the last two. Like they had two left. And I was just like, let me grab one and someone else will enjoy it as well so i'm really excited that i got this for 75 percent off this one's just like a nice everyday type of scent i also got firecracker pop in the shower gel and this is because of karina if you guys have been watching my last latest videos i've been talking about karina and how much she loves this scent this one's so good oh my gosh and the shower gel smells really good it's like a cherry bomb pop i'm not really a big fan of the fine fragrance mist so i don't know what i should do but i do like having sets of things so this one is there. And then I also got Love Always Wins in Sun Wash Citrus. This one's going to be like a nice, refreshing, citrusy type of scent. It's just a little bit lemony, um, almost like Lemon Pledge in my opinion. But if you love lemon scents, Sun Wash Citrus is where it's at. Next up, I got some retired fragrances that they brought back out in like some new packaging. This one is Pink Chiffon. This one's just like a super sugary, artificial sugar. And I don't know if I should compare this to pink sugar, but it is very sweet though. And it has more of like a florally scent in the body wash, in my opinion. Next up, I have a dark kiss in the body wash. I normally don't really get really intense, strong, musky type of scents in shower gels, but I decided to get one in this and this, you guys. It's a little smoky. It's very promiscuous, in my opinion. 
very dark and rich i really like this one a lot and then lastly i don't know if this one is actually on the retired list but they did bring this one back out and this one is love and sunshine this one is like sun kissed daisies and some lemon and strawberry it's just like a nice fruity floral really nice oh yeah i think this one has more lemon though in the shower gel and then i also got coconut lime in the shower gel this is what it looks like I did have two, but I did return one just because I didn't need two of these. Let's be honest here. I have way too many shower gels. And then I also got Cotton Candy Clouds in the shower gel. This one I already have like the Canadian exclusive of, but I did want to get the purple version as well. And another retired scent that I got was Velvet Sugar. This one's just so like romantic to me. It gives me like my undergrad college vibes during freshman year. This is what it is, so... I use this, uh, I use the body cream a lot during freshman year. Next up, I got Coastal Hydrangeas. And this was just like a nice fresh floral. I'm going to speed it up a little bit more. I got Boardwalk Taffy. And this one's really good. So similar to Cotton Candy Clouds. I really like the packaging. It's like iridescent. Not see-through. I got two of the Beach from Blankets just because this is just like a really nice scent to have in the shower. When you really want to feel like a fresh laundry sheet. Or like a sun-bathed towel. This is what it smells like. I got Honeysuckle Peach Tea and then also Candied Violet Sorbet. These are really good scents to have. I don't know if I will, it was like okay just to not have Candied Violet Sorbet in the shower gel. But it does smell really nice though. It's just like a classic floral. It doesn't really look like what it's supposed to be, like a sorbet. But I also got two of these Champagne Sprinkles to have. And my sister really likes the scent so she's going to be using this a lot in the shower. Do not worry guys, I will use my products up. <laughs> I also got At The Beach. At The Beach is so good you guys. Like my newfound favorite of the signature collection. Like I used to bash about the scent way too much but this in the shower gel it really feels like i'm at the beach you guys so i really like the scent if you if this one has a little bit of coconut a little bit of salt sea breeze i don't like salt water breeze but i do like this one so i had to learn to love the scent i'm really glad i got it in the old packaging too because the blue i'm obsessed i got twinkling nights in the shower gel this one is just a hard scent to find anywhere like this was just kind of like an elusive scent it comes and goes you don't know if they'll ever bring it back and this one has like a nice floral but a little bit sweet from the vanilla so it's like a floral vanilla really nice and then i also got sunset glow in the body wash this one is getting retired i don't know if it's going to be in a retired list but this one is just like a cherry vanilla with some florals so good i smell more vanilla in the body wash though which i'm really excited to use like during end of summer to fall to transition so pretty I'm not sure why they retired her but now that they're doing some more fauceted things i feel like the fauceted collection is going to be like a recurring thing every season they're going to just bring some scents out and just like little pretty packaging i got some for the summer and this is cactus blossom i've been obsessed with cactus blossom recently it's she's like my new found favorite in body care and i also got it in forever red because i really do like forever red forever red's just so nice classy you can't go wrong with her especially if you want to like, go out for like a nice evening with like your boo or like with your friends you cannot go wrong with forever red i ended up getting raspberry jam donuts in the shower gel i have one in my bathroom right now and my sister is obsessed and her boyfriend loves it really too they like go through it very quickly so i'm really glad i got a backup of that and then i wish i saw a lot of dark chocolate covered cherry but i didn't really see her like she was kind of like in the beginning but then it was all gone like i did see some like body creams with that scent but i didn't see any shower gels i feel like i like that scent just because it's a little different like i would have gotten her in a shower gel yeah that's actually kind of sad that i didn't really see her a lot because maybe she wasn't like the top seller and that's why they stopped producing more <laughs> of her but i also ended up getting coconut cream pie and it's just like your nice very coconut creamy type of scent so good and then for the tropical collection i got bahamas passion fruit and banana flower and then also i got belize tropical cabana this is such a nice scent to go to the beach lastly for body washes i got some moisturizing body washes and i kind of have to make sure to be cautious to not buy too many because these tend to go bad and i have a cactus blossom body wash in my shower right now and it's actually turning a little sour we don't like to see it. We hate it. We don't know her, but I'm almost done with that one actually. So I got Sunset Glow in the Moisturizing Body Wash. I also got Pretty as a Peach. Ah! And then I, lastly, I got Coconut in the Moisturizing Body Wash. Now moving on to the body lotions. I, I picked up a lot. I'm not going to lie here. But the first ones that I got were some retired ones. This is Love and Sunshine. I really like this one, like I mentioned before, and I also got Dark Kiss. You either love or hate Dark Kiss, but this one's just so great. Like, 
mm, like it's so like romantic, a little bit deep and sexy here and there, if you know what I'm saying. And call me crazy right now, I got three of the Cotton Candy Clouds body lotions. Yes, I did. But that's all I have to say for that, just because the body lotions last a lot longer than the body creams. I just uh, do not want to part with the scent because of just how nice and airy and cotton candy like it is because it's just so playful and delicious. I also got Perfect Peony. This one is, I think, discontinued. They might put this in the retired fragrance, but who knows? So I ended up getting this one. And then I also got Triple Berry Martini. I might return this one, you guys, or exchange it just because it's very generic to me, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I haven't used it on my skin, so I'm gonna have to probably try that first and I'll let you guys know. Let me know down below how you feel about Triple Berry Martini. I also got Belize Tropical Cabana, my favorite banana daiquiri scent. It gives me sun bum sunscreen vibes, so I had to pick up a body lotion in this. I also got Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. This is also one of my favorite scents from the Tropical Collection so good very perfumey and floral and it almost smells like tv static but like in a good way <laughs> in a very good way i also got midnight swim right here you guys i have a love hate with her because i liked i didn't like her at first but then i liked her and i'm just like always on and off but it is really nice though i will say that i do like denim and daisies just a little bit more and speaking of denim and daisies i got one of her this is a backup of her just because I don't want to live without this. I really do like this. It's like a perfect everyday type of scent. I also got Firecracker Pop in the body lotion. Very nice, very cherry-like when I'm in the mood for something very fruity. And I also got Bonfire Bash in the body lotion. This one is very hard to find just because Bonfire Bash doesn't really come out in lotion form as often. So I had to get her. For the Fruity Fizz collection, I got two of the Mango Mai Tai body lotions. This is like my first ever or second experience with mango from bath and body works they did have bali mango out which i actually do have a spray in i don't know where i put her but i do have some of that i actually need to use that up hmm. but this one right here just a juicy mango like again this is so good like i love mangoes like mangoes is my bias we love to see it i got strawberry soda i don't really like strawberry soda in this formula not in my opinion in my opinion i i like the shower gel more than this one so i might exchange this one but I do have it right now, and I also got Cherry Limeade. This one's just so unique to me. Gummy Worm, Sonic Cherry Limeade, really good. So this is going to be like really rare vacations that I do wear this, but it is a really nice scent. I got two of the Confetti Cake Pops, you guys. I, I am happy that I have two of these. I didn't want to go like overboard and get so many. I did end up doing that at first, but I did return one, which I'm really proud of myself, so someone else random can like get it for a really cheap price and then i'm also giving one to a subscriber which is like right over there and we're gonna meet up and get lunch i'm really excited for that so we're gonna do like a little tradesy thing it's gonna be really fun and then i also got two margarita cupcake lotions you guys this one is just gives me key lime vibes with a little bit of like a cake like a cake pop but it's really good it's not like too gourmand but it's not too tart and strong in the lemon department lemon lime department i also I'm getting two of the raspberry jam donut lotions because my sister now figured out that she likes the scent so she's been taking my backup so whoa i'm happy that i got two of these because this is so good like a delicious raspberry jam donut and then i also got a newfound discovery online and this one is fresh gardenia you guys this one smells like a nice fresh floral wow this one is a little bit looser though it's like a little bit more runny in my opinion but it smells really good. I definitely think that this is like something that's a little bit timeless that you can just wear this like anytime, but also like no matter what age you are, it's good for anything. And then lastly, the two body lotions that I got backups of, this is Magnolia Charm. I love Magnolia Charm in any type of aspect. This one is just a really great fresh, fresh floral, even more so than like fresh gardenia, but this one is so good. <laughs> like I think it smells like laundry sheets, but like in a fresh, aquatic way those are all the body lotions i got all right let's move on to body creams right now we got a little bit to talk about i got one two three four boardwalk taffy body creams but hear me out on this i've only had this for like a couple weeks this is the one i've been using and look how much i've used that's pretty much a lot. I use this like twice, but it's so addicting. Every time I use it, I want to put on more and more and more. So I'm really glad I did end up getting three backups because I know for sure that I'm going to be using this up because it's just so fluffy. It's like a fluffy candy, fluffy cotton candy. Really does resemble like saltwater taffy. So ah, I'm really happy that I got 
for. I also got one of the beachfront blanket and this one is a really nice one. I feel like I can't wear this every single day but one of the days when I'm just feeling really stressed and I just want to feel a little clean this would be a really nice one and I also ended up getting one of the coastal hydrangeas this one is like a oceany floral this one smells really good it almost smells like bed sheets but in more of like a aquatic sea breeze it smells like a sea breeze really good you guys <laughs> so I'm really glad I got this and then I got one two three confetti cake pop body creams and you guys saw how much progress i can make on boardwalk taffy so you know that i can get through these i'm really hoping for winter semi-annual sale they'll bring out the confetti cake pop body uh spray so i'm going to be holding on to these using them so i did use one already but i actually don't know which one i did use and then i also got one of everything from the perfectly pear collection that is candy violet sorbet honeysuckle peach tea i used this the other day and i really like it and also champagne sprinkles i'm really kind of bummed that i didn't get a backup of champagne sprinkles but i know that my sister has a body cream in it because i did buy it for her so i might like use some of hers as well if i ever do run out she takes a lot longer to go through body cream but just like a nice raspberry icing i swear this is like the same raspberry and raspberry jam donut an iconic scent but this one is just like a mix of champagne with raspberry so good you guys like almost like lip gloss it smells like lip gloss to me i got one and two of magnolia charm in the body cream some people said that they didn't really like the version of the body cream in this but i really like it i don't really smell a difference in it it smells really good to me so i got two of these and then i also got coconut palm in the body cream i was really excited to see them bring this back out for semi-annual sale i wish they brought the mist out because this one gives me like a relaxing coconut kind of like a spa like coconut not like too like tropical or gourmand this one's just like a perfect like right in the middle relaxing coconut it smells so good and then i also got mango mai tai in the body cream you guys know i love mangoes if you're new here i love mangoes this one's so delicious legit like mango juice oh my goodness this one has more guava though in my opinion i also got pink tie-dye and i ended up like only getting one i was really close to getting a backup of this actually but this one's just like a nice pink apple scent not too strong not like country apple but it is like just enough apple really nice and i also ended up getting endless weekend i like this version of endless weekend a lot more than like the original one it has like a little bit more of a vanilla and i also got pink chiffon in the new packaging and the body cream i just love it a lot of people don't like it like they just feel like it's a little basic and they didn't do enough but it makes sense though but i do like it a lot but then again i get impressed very easily and lastly i got one two and three body creams of margarita cupcake i really like the scent a lot um do i like this more than confetti cake pop it's very close but it does give me like a little bit of tart, a little bit of gourmand, and not too strong of each. So really happy I got three of those. All right, besties, I had to move just because I've been filming the overview first and then also like just showing you guys everything. So then I can put it at the end. And every fine for Christmas that we are going to talk about is on my bed right now. So let's go ahead and get started. I have one Magnolia Charm and I just love this one. This is actually a backup of multiple backups. I decided to only get one during the semi annual sale just because this one is just such a great everyday type of scent. Love her to death. And this one has like a fresh, fresh scent. So fresh laundry type, not too overwhelmingly like laundry, but really good. I also got pink chiffon in the new packaging. This one's really pretty. I don't know why, but I just love the ombre and just like the little hollow effect. I'm obsessed like it's really cute I got perfect peony in the fine fragrance mist and I used to actually not like the scent but it's actually kind of grown on me you guys this one is actually getting discontinued sadly so I wanted to pick this one up before I like made the regret to not pick it up so there's that one and I also got love always when sun wash citrus this one's just like a nice citrusy scent almost like a lemon zesty peel type of feeling so I mainly got this for the packaging, but as I'm looking right now, I think the packaging is kind of like a dud. Maybe I got the dud one. You guys see there? It says agave nectar and it's a little scratched. I also got cherry limeade just because everyone was talking about this one. Very controversial scent. Gives me sonic cherry limeade vibes and a little bit of a gummy worm. A lot of people said it smells like a sour gummy worm. I get that too. In the Perfectly Paired collection, I got one of the Candied Violet Sorbet. This is more of like a one and done scent for me just because it's just like your typical floral scent, but 
it's really cute packaging like uh why can't they actually make it smell like this i'm kind of sad <laughs> but i got one of those and then i also got two of these champagne sprinkles and my sister loves this scent so much but i unfortunately unfor got a backup for myself this one's just so beautiful raspberry icing so good so i'm happy i got two of these and then i also got two of the honeysuckle peach tea fine fragrance mist this one's just a little bit interesting to me and here's the thing i always have to talk about this because bath and body works sometimes they make their packaging so inconsistent with all of their products even if the product is the same so look at the caps why why do you do that like why why you do that like why can't it just be all gold or all pink because now i feel like the pink one's a little bit more special than the gold one I hate to see it but those are the ones that i got next up i got triple berry martini this one is okay i might return this low key but i'm gonna work with it i'm gonna use it one time on my body and let you guys know how i feel about it just because i feel like it's just like a very simple pomegranate champagne toast version a lot of people did compare this to a thousand christmas wishes but i feel like a thousand christmas wishes is a little bit more darker in a sense i also got two of the mango mai tai fine fragrance mist just because you guys already know i've said it multiple times i love mangoes and i also got strawberry soda in the fine fragrance mist yeah this one is basically kind of like a repackage to me of strawberry from last year i got two margarita cupcakes and the fine fragrance mist i'm really happy that i got two and that it came back just because it's really beautiful like it has more of like a limey scent in the uh fine fragrance mist i got one bali black coconut sands i didn't end up getting it in any other form just because i really wanted to try it out for myself but this one smells nice, okay? Like a nice creamy coconut milk scent. It's just like melts into your skin. I'm obsessed. And then I also got fresh gardenia to match the lotion. Like I said, this is like a newfound scent that I found. It's really good. And then I also got love and sunshine. This one's like a lemony daisy scent. And then I also ended up getting a backup of my favorite retired scent. This is velvet sugar. It's just like a very sweet but also night type of scent. Like this is not like a gourmand sweet or like a sugary pink sugar scent. This is like sensual, if you know what I'm saying, you guys. So I have that. And then I also got Forever Red. This one is my favorite. I needed a backup of her. I also got Sunset Glow. This is a backup. I'm gonna try to use up the one I have in the upcoming months and then have this as like my last resort. Mm -hmm. I also ended up getting two of the Twinkling Nights Fine Fragrance Mist just because this one's just so hard to find, like I said before, with the other packaging scents. This one is just so pretty. <laughs> it's really pretty for like any type of like special event. This is what I would wear. Guys, yeah, my nostrils are getting a little tired from sniffing all these, so I need to stop sniffing them. Like I've smelled so many things already. But I got one pink tie-dye and I also got one endless weekend. These are more of like one and done scents for me, but I just wanted to have them in my collection. I got one, two, three Cotton Candy Clouds Fine Fragrance Mist. I really like the scent. This one is just a little bit stronger than Boardwalk Taffy and it has more of like a candier, sugary, sweeter scent than Boardwalk Taffy. So and I really like the packaging. Like, it's just purple. I never had, like, a purple cap before. I got one of the Coastal Hydrangeas just because what a lot of people on YouTube talk about the scent. It's really good, actually. I'm really happy that I did end up getting one. If they ever do end up bringing it back, I will totally get it again. But I feel like I need to stop buying backups, even though you guys will see it in the next couple seconds about how many backups I bought. But I did get two of the Beachfront Blanket Fine Fragrance Mist. This one is just so nice. So I got two of those. And then, are you guys ready? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one is just my all time like favorite scent, probably like top five from Bath and Body Works just because of how addicting it is. And now here's the thing. Do not shake me right now. You're probably thinking like, whoa, Catherine, like you got, you did way too much. But look at this. You guys see this? I actually am putting this in my project pan and look at this. So I've gone through so much of this and I've only had this for like two weeks. Like I have like this much left with one bottle. That is insane. Like tell me that's not crazy. So I'm really glad that I got several backups just because I go through this like water, agua, and so that's why that's my reasoning why so i'm just addicted to the scent you guys like it's so addicting like a pink sugary cotton candy scent i'm obsessed so i had to get seven 
I'm about to have six now because you guys can see I was done with this one basically. Wow. I am crazy. I also got one firecracker pop fine fragrance mist. I'm very close to exchanging this um, maybe just because I like it in other forms but the wooden part just kind of like makes me like not really enjoying it but we're gonna have to check it and see it again and play with it one more time and then i also got two denim and daisies backups of the fine fragrance mist i'm so happy that i found these these were so hard to get for 75 percent off so i'm really glad i got these okay besties so that is 34 body washes and here's what it looks like with it all being drawn out this is insane Wow, <laughs> am I a little crazy? Maybe, yes, but I know that my siblings and whoever does shower in my bathroom will happily use and use help me use these products up as well. I have actually noticed right here, you guys see, that the body wash in Coastal Hydrangeas isn't like iridescent or like not see-through like this one. Do you see that? You know what's interesting? Is that for all of them for Coastal Hydrangeas? Let me know down below, but yeah, this is all of the body washes that I bought. That's insane. <laughs> all right, besties. So this is 27 body lotions. Yes, I bought 27 body lotions. That is insane. But I go through these pretty quickly. To be honest with you guys, if I were to just like try using just one of them, I can get through them like less than like two weeks. It's insane. But yeah, <laughs> I'm a little bit astounded just seeing everything just like all out in the open. Wow, great. We love to see it. This is 22 body creams. Not too bad. Um, I actually did return a couple. I was, I had like three of the beachfront blanket body creams. I was like, whoa, I don't need that many. So I just ended up getting one. I'm just going to try to do slow progress with this one, which is great. I go through Boardwalk Taffy so fast. Look at this. I've had it for what, like two weeks? And I'm only like right here. That's insane, you guys. I'm not mad about how many I bought, but it is a little crazy to see. Like, this is probably someone else's collection, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, this is all of my body creams that I bought. This is the biggest amount of product that I've gotten out of the entire categories. I'm like covering my mouth right now. Okay, but this is a 42 fine fragrance mist. But I do want to say that I do go th through them very quickly. Look at this one. Like this one is just like almost done. As I'm standing here just looking at how much I've gotten, it's ridiculous, it's crazy. I'm not overwhelmed though, to be honest with you guys. I felt like if this was like me last year, I would've been like, whoa, I bought way too much. But I'm pretty content, I'm pretty happy. No slander, no slandering this, okay, you guys? But yeah, you guys, this is everything that I got for the fine fragrance mist. So that was basically it for my entire body care that I bought during this semi-annual sale. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. This was a lot. This was a little bit crazy, insane. Whew, like, I'm just like a little amused at myself by how much I bought, but I feel like I deserve it. I've gone through a lot of uh, things throughout this lifetime and I feel like I gotta treat myself. So anyways, I also want to mention that I didn't input like candles and hand soaps just because I didn't get like a lot and I didn't really want to bring them out. So if you guys ever want to see that, I can put it in like a vlog or something. That'd be really cool. But um, yeah, that was basically it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please let me know down below if you got as much as me or you got more than me or you got less than me. I would love to know like the numbers wise and everything like that. So yeah, I love you guys so much and thank you so much for supporting me and not judging me and just being like, we get you boo, we get you. We love a good collection video. So yeah, um, I know a lot of you guys have also been wanting to see like a full Bath & Body Works collection, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it in like a layout format again because this takes a lot of time to do, but yeah. Yeah, that might be planned um, before the fall comes. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.